Got a copy over there? I'm in position. Righty ho. Right. We got out of the house. Okay. It's not going to work. Well, it's not going to work. It's not going to work if the camera's not working whilst we do this all day. <laughs> all right. Geez, I wish you'd just shut up sometimes. I heard that. Damn it, she heard that. <laughs> That'll be a blooper, right? <laughs> careful what you say sometimes when you're in blinded spots like this, eh? Yeah. Alright. Silly question, I don't know what date it is, maybe it's the 18th or 19th? <laughs> what date is it, Jude? Uh, I don't know, I don't know what this How loud and clear is that, eh? It is amazing to see So, you're about a 140 metres away. And I can hear you just about as if you were standing right beside me. Yeah, it's, um, it's just amazing. Though. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's to do with the acoustics of um, oh, the, the, I don't know, is it the linear of the, of the arch that's in the, uh, in the wall? Um, apparently there's a couple of other places. Um, I think there's a, um, uh, I think there's a central, Grand Central Station. And I think a cathedral or something has uh, very similar properties as well. I think it would be, look really neat if they put a painting on this though. <laughs> yeah, it opens itself up for a nice uh, paint mural like uh, Wellington Dam. Yeah. It's pretty good. Well, there we have it. I've been dying to come to the Whispering Wall and I've made it and what a day. That's pretty awesome. Well, this, this dam, I'll find some more information about it, but it's the, um, in its time, I think it was about 19... Say 1914, we'll find out at the board. But it was the the tallest dam and the first arched dam in Australia, I believe. It didn't hold the record for very long, obviously being the tallest dam. It was uh, taken over pretty quick, but it is a beautiful, uh, beautiful wall. G'day from the Adelaide Hills, we've uh, escaped the city, come out to this beautiful little place, look, look at this uh, reservoir, it's gorgeous, and it's a beautiful day for it too. Um, back in the 1880s, Gawler um, needed some water there, some fresh water, and it came from the South Power River I believe, but uh, it was a little bit uh, contaminated, uh, wasn't, wasn't suitable really for drinking, it was getting worse, so they uh, had to do something, so they built this reservoir. Uh, this wall that uh, was built back in 1899 and completed about 1903 is about 36 metres high and it's about 144 metres uh, long and was built by 400 blokes and uh, unbeknown to them when they built it 
it actually had um, an amazing acoustic uh, properties. It ended up becoming called uh, a, a part of a sort of phenomenon known as the Whispering Galleries. And I uh, found out that there's a couple of other uh, famous Whispering galleries, gall galleries around. They are the, uh, the Grand Central Station in New York and the St. Paul's um, Cathedral, I think it is, um, in London. So um, yeah, pretty, pretty nice to have one here in, uh, in Adelaide and um, it works very, very well. So uh, yeah, pleased to be able to get out here and uh, tick this one off the list. I've seen a few fishermen up the river, there, up, up, up a couple of other lakes too. So uh, there's gotta be some nice uh, fishing about. It's very inviting. Anyway, number one of the day ticked off the list. Off to another spot. We are just a few k's down the road from um, Williamstown, it was where the uh, Whispering Wall was, in case I didn't mention it. And now we're in, um, oh, what do they call this one? It was a, it was a Mexican sounding name, Gumachera, I think it might be. And we have found the world's tallest or largest um, rocking horse. How's that? It's about um, 18 meters tall, I think it is, and weighs about 25 ton. And you can get to the top, we'll go in and um, grab ourselves a, uh, a pass to go up. I think it's only about $2, and um, I think we get a certificate that we've been in a large rocking horse. Now this goes in part and parcel with some of the large ones that we do. What have we done? We've done the galah, we've done the kangaroo, we've done the wheelbarrow. Um, easel so uh, find the windmills so hopefully one of uh, a few more that we'll get right well here we go we're climbing the rocking horse hey um it says that this is the largest rocking horse but I wonder how big um, Trojan Horse of Troy or whatever it was. Tell me I had to go and climb up oh here. really? Oh here we thought we were just going up um, stairs. stairs and then all of a sudden we come across uh, we're going up. Yeah. <laughs> things things just got interesting. Up into the belly of the horse. Salt up into oh you can go way up into the tail by the looks of it as well. No, that's that's the head at that end and we're in the tail end. Here we are at uh, the next stage. As you can see Jude's about to go up into the, the rocking horse's uh, head. Is it one at a time or you can get a couple up there? And um, the noises that you hear that this is actually an animal farm as well where you can Come and walk around and uh, visit uh, kangaroos and wallabies and all that sort of stuff. Uh, not to mention the uh, parrots as well. There's a, what do they call this, soft-crested soft cockatoo over there, making all the noise. Um, awesome little uh, cafeteria down over here too, which uh, coffees, pies, ice creams and things. So obviously a very, uh, it'll be a very popular place in the weekend where uh, Adelaideans and tourists will come on out here to enjoy a, a great little park like surroundings it's, it's very nice anyway we'll see where the dude's up there yet no. <laughs> that's a no I don't like pipes, so. all right we made it to the top of the rocking horse and to prove it my sidekick here say hello hello <laughs> there we go it's a great view beautiful day for it and we've ticked off the world's biggest Tallest rocking horse. Oh, we just made it up to the main store of the uh, rocking horse here in uh, Gumachera, and uh, yeah, it's official. The biggest rocking horse in the world, and it was uh, built in 1981. So uh, yeah, it's looking pretty grand. There's this toy factory, eh? Pretty it's neat. It's awesome, yeah. Some really neat interactive type toys and things. Like little washing machine behind us, you wind it and the bucket goes round and round and round. Little lawnmower. Little lawnmower. <laughs> yes, pretty neat. Cool. 
So yeah, a lot of the toys are all made here, so uh, Australian made, um, and yeah, they're getting obviously ready for a lot of Christmas stuff, so uh, pretty neat for the old uh, the reindeer and uh, Santa sleigh and things, that kind of stuff, but oh, I tell you what, I love it. Uh, I love the smell of um, the timber and um, like, is it linseed or something like that? What do they used to use? It's beautiful, the oils to protect it, so neat little spot, really uh, full on little store, little shop here at the rocking horse. And of course you can get rocking horses here too, wooden ones. And that. Here's a good one for hand coordination. Oh, I think beer, look at that. I'm going to get some top. <laughs> Try to undo it. And you can do it. You just spent 25 minutes over there trying to do it. I didn't spend 25 minutes over there. Yeah, okay. Three minutes. Three minutes it took you to undo this box. Did you use any force? No. <laughs> Under pressure with the camera, that's just not fair doing stuff like that. Oh, all right, I'm just going to slide it. <laughs> you want to see the smirk that's on this girl's face, she knows damn well. Okay, give me the camera and do show me. Okay Dean, now that I've shown you, how does it go? Well, unbeknown to me, when you gave it to me, you said you never... I did, never said it, never, never did said... did solve it. No, so I never... So said, right, oh, what's the secret? So, yeah, it's got something to do with these two little pieces here. Opposite corners? Yeah, opposite corners. But and just pull. Yeah, just there and there, I think. That one, that one, that one. Pretty cute little puzzle. It's coming out. There it is. Well, uh, what a good little hidey hole, eh? That'll have people really stumped. It is really, really well put together too, eh? Yeah, it's lovely. And it Here probably took us about 15 minutes to work it out, though. <laughs> <laughs> Brain teaser, what's in the box? Got to open it up first. All right, I've got a big apology to make, especially to the town, on mispronunciation of Gumaraka. You know, am I saying Gumachera or something like that? But no, Gumar Gumaraka. So, uh, yeah, big shout out to you at uh, Gumaraka. You. Uh, Put a pretty damn good uh, show together here. There's enough to keep uh, you occupied for quite some time. Talking about occupied, if you're watching this, make sure you've clicked that uh, like and subscribe button. That'll keep you occupied a lot longer. <laughs>